here we are. That's better? Better. This looks like absolutely nonsensical. I've read some books recently. <laughs> PC, and it feels really strange to be introducing myself to a camera. I also need to fix my bed. We just found out that I'm going to be moving again, unplanned. Originally, I was only supposed to be living in my current location for a year. It's been like three, but um, I don't really know how much warning, and I was kind of in the middle of just starting to get things back on track because everything I intended to do this summer, I didn't for a variety of reasons that I have no interest in getting into. But what I do want to get into is the <sighs> cognitive dissonance in my brain about how I'm the same person. I used to think that like when you get older and when you grow up that uh, you like slowly morph and grow into this like adult version and then I like thought about it as like oh it's just a switch and then you're an adult but um hit 18 there was no switch and uh I think everyone not everyone but a lot of people have come to the same realization so I want to talk about it to myself because why not? And uh, camera is better than sounding like a lunatic. And yeah, that's all. So I've been very annoyed about the projects that I like haven't gotten done or haven't finished. And that's part of my issues is I'm very much like a part of my issues. Ugh. I'm very much a perfectionist, but also someone who like when I sit down to do a thing, I will do the whole thing. Or I will have this idea in my head and I won't act on it for years and years and years and years. For instance, kind of everything you see here started as a, a pile of plastic because I'm going to make a plastic dress. Now, I'm like, that's still happening. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to myself. But um, it's not come to fruition. And this started like nearing 10 years ago now. That's, that's wild. But, um, so I have all sorts of plastic and packaging. I also happen to have some like empty boxes and thing. Oh, it's not completely empty. It's got, but just like things to make things with. And I, I keep it and I do want to use it and I am excited about using it. But then when it comes to like actually accomplishing the thing, that's scary. Um, so I get, caught in this little mind loop. It's a tin of toys, except it's not a tin, it's a plastic thing, but I don't know. And I second guess myself a lot, which I feel like a lot of people can relate to. And then especially with the pandemic, it really stopped my, um, oh, just ruined a lot of plans, kind of like this box is supposed to have, this is supposed to be thread. It's supposed to have a lot of thread in it, a lot more thread than this, which means that the thread and the second rack is probably in the pile of boxes turned upside down. Now I have color coded these beautiful relics. These are some, some wood spools wood spools and some some silks and stuff not thread I would actually necessarily use but still beautiful thread um, and I had it all color-coded and beautifully organized and then I proceeded to let my cap cat tip over the box not once not twice but thrice and that like that could be an issue of them getting in my way but really, it just seems like that was kind of on me. That was my fault right there. And uh, I just want to, like, stop having problems like that. I want to fix them. So I think uh, these 
plastic thread things are going out. Because I have a wood one, and I use the thread that I actually use on my machine, and most commonly so with this box is more for um, hyper-specific colors and uh, relics. Like this, which I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not blood. But it might be blood. I don't think so, because the amount that was on it didn't, like, say, it's too, it's, like, brown, but it's not the right color brown, and it's not... Yeah, I'm going to stop talking about the stain on this thread that I'm absolutely keeping, even though there's no way I'm ever going to need to sew with... Need to sew with... Okay. Anyways. I have a pile of stuff that's going out. Anyways. Back. I... Uh, basically, with the pandemic... I feel the way a lot of people have been feeling, which is just that, um, random magazine page. Great. If I didn't mention, there's just like a little pile of stuff that I've pulled out from under my bed and such that I'm dealing with <laughs> at the moment, um, and that's what's going on here. But, what... Oh gosh, it's dusty. <laughs> the issue I've been dealing with that I'm sure a lot of people are dealing with is all of my plans got pushed, got stopped, whether it was for pandemic related reasons or just things not coming together and then I didn't get to do the experience that I expected. But then beyond that, just it also happens to be a time in my life of a lot of change. So throw that change on top of the pandemic change and, and you just, you get chaos. Chaos of a certain kind that, um, it's just really annoying. So I want to learn how to live my life with less chaos. A relearn because I remember being a child less as less chaotic and then when I like further think about it perhaps that's not so perhaps it was just chaotic in a different way and the responsibilities were put on someone else so it wasn't as trying or problematic in the same ways but there's also the possibility of uh, moving this time, I would be moving out, as they say, like properly, well and truly, no longer living at home, as they, which is kind of a weird distinction for me because uh, I haven't been living at home, I have been living with a family member, but it's not like in the same way that when I think of uh, someone who still lives at home or still lives with their parents. That's not my experience. So there's just little idiosyncrasies in life that make us all different. And the way that we describe them hurts my brain, but that's not really a problem. That's more of just like a entertaining way of existing as a human. Where do I put a bag of a bag? It should go in my car, but where is things that are going in my car? It's just going to go up there. That's where it's going to go. So swimsuit yeah and I don't know how to feel about it because I always thought that uh, my experience of like moving out would be into a dorm which I have only ever done short term and not in the way that I expected as a as a child growing up you get out of high school and you go into college but that was not exactly what happened for me it was different uh, but that's whole other thing. Look at these pretty nail pol- I got nail polishes. I haven't got nail polishes in a very long time because- where's the other one? I've seen it recently. This came with three. This is another cute little box that I've certainly crushed but I'm absolutely keeping because- I don't need that part. That's recycling. <laughs> I don't know why you need to know that but I, I feel more secure in knowing that you do. What is it? They're just gonna live up here too. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I 
found it. The Green Fairy. I don't know what any of these are actually called. No, my name is better. Green Fairy. But, anyways, I just... I'm learning to find pleasure in the little things because my, my big life goals are not here yet are not happening what I expected them to be. Although, or basically, I'm not, I'm not on the path that I thought I would be. Oh, that all sounds like nonsense that I don't want to listen to. Yet. Yeah, no, that sounds like nonsense I don't want to listen to. But I think, I think I got my point across. Oh my gosh, I have purple lipstick. Let's see if I can still, like, That is a weird, look at that. It kind of reminds me of like the flip top Lizzie McGuire early 2000s situations where you go like, and a little top would come like Tomagotchi stuff. That's not Tomagotchi. There was another toy. It was like a Tomagotchi, but you play with it and like a keychain comes out the top. And does anyone know what I'm talking about? I don't know. That tastes like so. like smells like soap. That's strange. Do I have a mirror in here? That's okay. That's okay if I do say so myself. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Learning to find little things that I enjoy that make my life a happier place. Oh, I found all my post-its. Look at, that's a lot of post-its. And a couple pens that don't belong in there. They can just, just live up there. I... The chaos is migrating. That does actually go up here. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what else I have on my desk. But. I want to be productive. And I'm discovering that I can't be productive absolutely all the time. Because I don't exist then. Or as other people say, I, I would burn out. And I have burned out and been brought back. But also, other things beyond overworking yourself, just circumstances can really get in your way and ruin your life. That's not even really what I mean, but you can understand the idea. And I don't, I don't blame myself for getting behind. I don't blame anyone for getting behind, but sometimes life just really... Life is real life. Life is weird. Uh, I'm not gonna say I don't like life, but it'd be nice if life could take a couple pointers from like a well storyboarded movie. But like, not a horror movie. What is this? Yoga mat spray? Do I have a yoga mat? have the urge to throw this but I'm not going to finding more things that shouldn't be on the floor what the heck is this perfume a perfume vial anyways I just I don't know what I expected from life but this ain't it and simultaneously this is what I've been experiencing, so this is life, and it's not that I didn't expect my current existence. I just don't feel as in control of my existence as I'd like to be. I was gonna say as I should, but like, how could- you can't really control- other people have an effect on your life. Circumstances that are out of people's control have an effect on your life. Anyways, I think that's just my point. That's a little... Oh, that felt like... Up until that point... I haven't worn these. Ugh. Up until whatever that last explanation was, this was like a good feeling, getting things off my chest, and I just like hit some existential dread. Let's hope I find something else fun. <laughs> this is more plastic for my plastic dress. <laughs> I want to find something else fun so I don't have to feel like that. That's not where post-its go. bag, pieces of plastic, how, okay. it's like 
ASMR. I didn't like that. I don't know where the rest of these are. I don't know what to expect from post-pandemic life. We're still in a pandemic, mind you. It's October 11th? Is it? Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to feel. I feel like everything I do kind of turns out wrong. But I've decided to focus on positives. As some would say, the things I can control. But I don't know that I can control the positives. I don't know what I can control. But I do have an empty chocolate tin from Trader Joe's. These are really good. Dark chocolate caramel wedges. I don't particularly like chocolate. And I'm usually not a caramel person. Caramel? Caramel. 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 None of that sounds right. I feel that's... I don't know. So what I've decided to focus on is just getting things done that I have had on my mental to-do list that are taking up space in my brain so that I can move on to new, new things, better things. Not necessarily bigger things, but also hopefully some things that feel bigger because I don't know about you, but I'm someone who wants to have something to do every second of every day. Like a purpose, but also, quite honestly, it might just be like being able to have a job that I enjoy. Like, I was always good at school, and I might still have some school in my future, but I also don't plan on having any more educational content in my life currently, so that's a strange feeling. And because also my unique experience of uh, high school and post-high school, I didn't really get the, like, distinct moments, which I'm sure a lot of pandemic um, graduates can understand, but, um, not for the same reasons as other people. So I haven't had the distinct, like, milestones. I'd like to have some milestones, though I don't know what they would be, because the only milestones I could think of I do not plan on having in my life anytime soon, or at all. But that's kind of a problem for another day. Anyways, I have cleared the beginnings of what was I there's still a jacket here and I just don't want to yank a jacket because I know there's gonna be dust and stuff but I'm gonna vacuum and I'm gonna clear off these books and papers from my bed um, I'm, I'm, I might change my sheets I don't know we'll see how the day goes it's already, it's already dark out I don't know. it's been dark out this whole time um oh my god I I seem like I'm like a cat it's just dusty. It's really dusty. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm going to do things. <laughs> so, good night. Oh. Hope you enjoyed that. Ooh. <laughs> I forgot that I'd put lipstick on. There goes the yoga spray. How did I not see that? I I just like remembered that I this is a beautiful robe that I oh that, <laughs> that I quite like. I've been discovering self-care. That was cringy. No, I uh, I put some leave-in conditioner in my hair and it looks like a stringy disaster, but I also don't hate it. And I don't look like all of my ballet photos from childhood. I say that like I have many. I have very few. But I did that. I did ballet. I have a beautiful robe that I like. But I also um, don't like because it's kind of itchy. You know that thing where you kind of want to get rid of something but then you can't? This is that thing. <laughs>